Sagittarius. Welcome back. We're here to do your update for September 2022. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium. I cover Twin Flame Path. And yes, we do have these pre-released members up. And as we move forward, we may add more star signs and psychic channel messages. Now, we are going to cover singles, couples and Twin Flame within the spread, as well as the astrology, what's happening with that full moon and also your wellness, kind of your ascension report, so to speak, in this update. Now, yes, I have been a psychic medium for a very long time, so we are going to cover the energy as to what I see psychically. Now, I do think lots of new beginnings for you. I, I, I feel it's very, it's really funny. It's almost like you're having the courage to, to, um, to jump in, and it's almost like that natural energy of who you used to be is being revisited again, and I don't know why that's so critically being spoken. Um, you do have your solar plexus coming up, and I feel there's this inner child of creativity really streaming through, but it also could be almost second-guessing yourself. Sometimes we accidentally could bite off a little bit more than we can chew. There potentially could be a subject where you freak out and think, oh my gosh, have I jumped in where angels fared to tread? Um, if, if you got things sorted before you did, you know, moving into the month of September, it'll be a time where you reflect upon those things. Oh my God, did I jump in the deep end? Do I need to go back to something different? And just really move through that wave, I would say, um, gauge it. I do feel you're taking on a lot more responsibility this month. And there can be something to do with maybe moving to a higher um, tier level or position. Um, it could be you've got a lot on your plate and trying to balance um, your career and your purpose in life and your hopes and dreams and aspirations, all of those things are popping off. And just as you've settled into Ruth's, I feel big questions coming around relationships, contracts, partnerships, as well as your direct home environment. So for you, Sagittarius, thank God you're a Sagittarius. You know, you guys um, in astrology can be deemed as sports heroes, so to speak. Um, you're probably going to need your energy with you. You'll need your toots about it. But you definitely could have some added passion and frustration really happening, um, you know, where you're being pulled in two directions. So, Hats off to you if you can handle it all. Um, the other thing I can say is Mars in the house of Gemini is going to be there for eight months. So your relationship sector, um, you know, really trying to work hard for your money, really trying to, um, you know, put, put your foot down and not let people walk over you, I do feel, as a, um, a potential. You could get a little bit grumpy with individuals and definitely during Mercury retrograde, you could really, just in the first week, I really feel, of September, you may want a little bit more private time than usual. And I feel there could be some um, almost like uh, critiquing your style of work, critiquing um, your, your plans and your hopes and dreams and aspirations, but I do feel it'll ease up. I just feel you're going to need a little bit of time to just ease into that and, uh, you know, get back into an equilibrium, so to speak. This can be a time moving into the month of Mercury retrograde where we are reworking things and we're re reworking life to get into some sense of harmonisation. A lot of cross wires can occur frustrations, but I always look at it as a life audit. So I do feel for you spiritually, you can be critiquing your money, critiquing your career. If you're not working, thinking, hey, you know, I want that sense of independence. I want that sense of stability. What can I do? What's my new purpose? Whatever it be, depending on the age bracket you are, obviously, you know, sometimes it can be that you're in retirement and you're needing that direct purpose. Other times it's for you, it's it's a very personal um, situation, I do believe, that we are going through this month. Um, and we can accidentally project and feel people really don't understand us. We also can be too nice and, you know, accept things far less than what we um, expect. I do feel a lot of you are going to be earning a lot more money this month and you could be looking at wealth as well. If you are having too much responsibilities on your plate and the direct give and take and connections aren't there, it can make you very ratty. Now, in the area of love, what I do see for you guys is especially we're going to start on singles. So singles, what I do see for you your love life is heated up more so because we are having Mercury retrograde. Now, a lot of cross wires can occur. You're going to need to um, take time to understand both yourself and that other individual. 
Um, there can be those blasts from the past coming back. There could be circumstances uh, where the passion and the chemistry is coming back and the feelings towards that person. I also feel you may be wanting to reconnect with those individuals and to have a good time. I feel you, you could be pulled by your friendship groups in various directions and your commitment's going to be super extreme this month. Those of you that are single, go cover twin flames. What I am seeing for those of you that are single from a spiritual point of view around um, the full moon, this can be a very emotional time. This can also be a time when lots is changing. Um, like I said, I do feel you're going to have a lot of balls in the air. I do feel there can be subjects towards family coming up. You're going to be very social, but you're also going to have to manage a schedule and not overcommit yourself. I think the key to this month is seeing what's in harmony and what's not. And what's not in harmony, I really feel you're going to have to be really honest with because as we do move towards October, Mars will go retrograde and things can cool down. You may not, you may be a little bit less inclined to, um, you know, get in and get extra things done or um, put excessive energy in. So if both parties aren't on the same page, uh, it can be deeply difficult, but you also don't overburden yourself with your schedule. Be really practical because we're not going to be as motivated. Couples, great time to reflect upon where the connection is, where the love is, where the chemistry is. If you're not seeing each other 24-7, you know, how do you how do you navigate that? What is your routine? How can you get time for date night? How can you get time to actually have a chat? Um, I don't know why this is coming up so heavily. There could be a frustration to do with your social environment. I also feel um, one party could be socialising more than the other or one party is not letting the other person socialise. There's a lot of deep conversations and they could be a little bit heated. Um, unresolved situations may crop back up for readdressing and I do feel you can iron the creases out. I also feel there is a possibility where your partner may struggle around the four days before the um, full moon and four days after. So tempest could actually run quite high around that time. So FYI for that. I do feel also um, how you're navigating your responsibilities inside of the connection is being reviewed. And some of you, it's almost like I feel you want to revisit some of your pastimes. You could be wanting to join a gym um, and get fit and look after your health. And I, I do feel it's very important for all of us pretty much from here into October to take extra care with our wellness. The transit's really showing it's very important, but we are looking to find balance. Twin Flames, big, big month for you. By the time we reach the 7th of September, we do have Juno making an aspect and it can be a decision day. This also for you from a spiritual point of view can be changes surrounding your security, your direct home. Do we move in with each other? Where are we at? Is there a family related dynamic going on? Some of you also might have had a lot of issues around family. Um, this can be their family, your family. It might have been some interferences happening there. I, it could have been a child-related subject, but I, I do feel there's some sense of change. But definitely for you guys, I do feel there could be some change in that domain. For some reason, I feel you need to meditate upon a circumstance. This card drops down to a nine, and it's very much to do, to do with meditation and whether the spiritual connection is on the same page. And I do feel during Mercury retrograde, this is an opportunity for those blasts from the past to come back and for us to directly revisit it. I especially feel from a spiritual point of view, I am seeing at the moment how you have been handling your ascension process might have been really hitting your nerves, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of upheaval, and I feel that in a mix has been directly affecting you, but I feel you've got used to change, but something in you has changed permanently, and I feel because of that, you're really revisiting that at a personal level as well as potentially simultaneously seeing, reviewing, tuning into this person. Now, I do feel there can be a lot in the first two weeks coming up, which is a lot to do with our conditioning, and we can be more harsh than usual. If you, from a 
perspective of feeling if you had a circumstance going on and you can see the mirror coming through with this individual you may take a more critical eye on the circumstance and there could be a little bit of projection so just sit with it for a bit keep the communication open cross wires can occur if you do decide to meet with each other regardless of where you are on the path because I do directly um, guide those that are already in their union. I do have easy, I think it's about five or ten um, individuals in union now after the last five years on YouTube. I think it's five years now. Um, I would say it's re-navigating the situation. It could be something to do with home, something to do with your beliefs and, and values. Um, there could be an individual as well who is driving you a bit crazy. That can be a friend. Um, just be careful at the moment because there can be a lot of disputes that pop off. So we've got to try and keep it cool, keep that communication open and navigate it. Overall, I do feel there's an opportunity here for you in the month of September to find your personal purpose, but also to stand up for yourself. And if there is something you need to talk about, I feel you'll be very neutral. I feel you'll go into it with openness, but you will put your foot down if you need to. I feel firmness, especially if somebody is asking you for money, especially if you have been having issues with money. I do feel um, whatever that circumstance was, you're trying to get that balance back. Um, sorry that that's not necessary. I just get this sense that there's something to do with values and the give and take and the connection being ironed out. But I do directly believe this could be an opportunity for communication and reconciliation. Now, astrologically, we are moving towards the full moon in Pisces. Simultaneously, Mercury will be moving retrograde in the house of Libra. This could be, I would really suggest four days before and four days after. Don't make any major decisions. Probably not the best time to sign documents. This isn't legal or professional advice. This is astrological. I also feel your heightened sixth sense will be there, but you also could be very susceptible. It's not a good time around the moon to be drinking, okay? Keep clear fluid, really move into the next two weeks, eating light, eating healthy, eating food groups that support your nervous system. That's really what's going to help you harmonize. I would do some grounding work as well. You know, when you come home from work, um, stay clear of white noise, take some personal time and don't overschedule yourself. This is one of those months that we can have spanners thrown in the works and you won't enjoy it and it will directly affect your vibration. <clears throat> Now, in the wellness, Uranus and Taurus went retrograde last month. You can be reviewing your health and diet. You can be reviewing some bad habits and wanting to let them go. You also are guided to, especially as I mentioned, moving into the moon. Um, yeah, looking at those things that are working for you and aren't, you know, are you getting enough rest? Are you having enough time to unwind? Um, or is it go, go, go? Is there another task and another thing you need to do? I also feel um, some of you could be also taking on a deeper commitment and responsibility. Some of you potentially already were and it wasn't yours to do in the first place. And you can be asking yourself, what is the give and take within my connections? Um, are we on the same path? Are we looking at connections the same way? Are we looking at wealth creation and, you know, our social group in the same way? There can be fights with friendship groups. And there also could be some disputes at work. So try to keep it on an even keel. And I also feel some of you could have a change of home. Um, inner child, there's a lot to do with your inner child going on this month. But I feel you're going to be really creative. There's an excitement about you. Um, there could be a breakthrough for you personally. And I feel it's like you're having this revelation inside your life, especially within connections. If you're not happy, this is where the cracks are going to show this month. It will be a make or break. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you through the month. If you really enjoy these videos, feel free to chuck a comment down below and how this directly relates to you. And I may even add some more. Take care, beautifuls.